is all about taking the very best care of your pet. Now, if you own a dog or a cat, there will come a time that you have to give it a tablet. Now, how do you do this without sustaining great personal injury? Well, Rob the Vet is here to tell us. Now, this is a question that you get asked time and time again, isn't it, Rob? It is. And it comes down to a question of honesty and good technique. Sometimes the only thing available to treat uh, an illness is a tablet. Yeah. But I have to be honest and say there are cats in my practice that I cannot tablet. Not without use of a full set of body armour and an army of helpers. Sometimes it's a question of just doing the easiest thing. We will often get the owners to put it in a little bit of food or a little bit of fish, especially for cats. If you can feed them when they're hungry, so before they're expecting a meal, sometimes it's gone and it's that simple. <laughs> if that's a failure, however, technique that we use for giving tablets to a cat normally means two people. Oh, hello. So if we have to give a tablet to a cat, the best technique is always two people. One person controls the cat and holds the front feet. The second person is gonna hold the head and tilt it back, and this is naturally gonna open the mouth. And then we drop the tablet in, aiming at the V formed by the back of the tongue and the soft palate. That gives you the most chance of success and then we wait for a swallow. There are lots of palatable medication available. Um, for instance, we tend to use our anti-inflammatories for cats as a liquid version. And that, because it's very sweet, seems to go down really easily. But there are as many different medication presentations as there are different people, because everybody's tried different things. We'll sometimes use a sticky medication and we'll put it on the end of the nose, or we'll put it on the feet, and we'll wait for the cat to lick it off. Overall, try as hard as you can. Worst case scenario, the practices will often have a vet nurse who'll give you a hand, but that does mean a daily visit. When it comes to cats, three medications in a day, and you're an expert. If you're getting four in, you're a miracle worker. <laughs> At the end of the day, be honest and give it a good try. Now, I suspect that cats are the tricky ones, and it's easier to give a tablet to a dog, big or small, or am I wrong? Dogs are more easily fooled, but don't make the mistake, some of them are just as hard as the cats. For dogs, they're more food orientated as a rule. So we can get away with tasty tablets, we can get away with treats, we can get away with hiding the tablet in a small amount of food. But just be careful. Speak to the vet depending on the choice of food you're gonna use. There's no point taking a dog with an upset stomach and then giving it some steak or giving it something really rich you're gonna take a backward step. There are still dogs that you won't fool. So the basic technique is just the same as it is with a cat. One person controls the dog and holds the front feet, and the other person tilts the head and drops in the tablet. The other thing we find works really well, again, as with the cats, are liquid anti-inflammatory, very sweet tasting, and that is often the key to success. So that's cats and dogs sorted. Now what about bigger animals? If you're a horse owner, how on earth do you tablet a horse? Well, horses are like dogs in some way. They can be food orientated and therefore we can use powdered antibiotics or wormers or anti-inflammatories. If you take it and put it in a small amount of highly flavoured food, they'll often eat it. Job's done. But I do have one owner who can only give medication in jam sandwiches. <laughs> <laughs> Bizarre. For the pickier horses, what we tend to find is that they've got preparations for us available in a syringable form. The antibiotics, the wormers, and the anti-inflammatories. Now they all come with a dialer dose at the back. You choose the weight of the horse and you dial it down to the weight required. This stops you giving any more and sets the amount that you're going to give. Right. And then what we will do is just syringe this into the horse's mouth, they swallow it, and they get the medication. 